Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel, Take 6. So this is a Upcrate unboxing. It's a monthly art supply subscription box from Germany. This will be the last box I'm getting because I'm not satisfied with the quality or the amount of items you get in the box. I think this is my third one. Um, last month's was alright. Um, I'd say 6 out of 10 and the month before that was just total crap. Um, I just thought I'd mention this, it's got nothing to do with Upcrate. Recently I um, purchased a subscription box, a stationery one, Spotlight Stationery, and that was absolute crap. And I thought the company might be going into decline. Well, I've just got an email this morning saying that after seven years of uh, running the company, they've decided to retire. But they'll still keep the shop open to sell past boxes. Um, so that's a bit of useless information for you. So I have cut the side of this off, so then I can just ru rip that tab off. It's upgrade number, is it 38? Yeah. And it's black, so I'm sort of thinking it might be ink, or so something like to run in with ink, Inktober. I wonder if they do something like that in Germany, I'm not sure, but I hope not, though. Um, let's get a uh, cracking. Get in. Off in one, off in one, off in one. I think he's not here to play with us. Oh, and it's um, off-white paper. Um, just looks like paper you get with fish and chips. Um, not very inspiring at all. What does that say? Sketches are part of life. Oh, there. And there's the a black print. What would I say there is? Oh, I hope it's not one of those scratch things. You know where you get like a, a black board and then you use a scratchy thing. Um, I never enjoyed them as a child. But uh, I'm thinking black paper and what would you say that is? Um, what would that white be? It looks very fine. Um, could be a Posca white. I'm not sure. Well, enough uh, guessing. Let's get into the... Um... Oh, this is... Um... Oh, God, it is. Scratch board. Oh, my nightmare. Oh, the professional choice for scratch board. Scratch with precision. Yeah, so you'll just get a scratching tool and it'll be white underneath. Oh. Add brilliant colour. Oh, this is totally uninspiring. But you know what? I'll give it a try. You never know, I might enjoy it. Let's see what we've got in here. Right, have fun. Well, it looks doubtful, but you never know, I might. So, what's this? These are the stickers. Oh, very dull and boring, no colour at all. Scratch the surface. And I think that's, um, what do you call that? Graphite paper. You know, like years ago, I used to write invoices, and what did you do? Right on that one, and then it would print on the other. But I don't see the point of that. I mean, just use tracing paper. But, um... Uh, right, let's get into the contents. I'm glad this is my last box. That paper is just so... Ugh. I could have put some nice white tissue paper. Oh, look. Um, so where have we got? Go in a bit more. Take glasses off. Indian ink. Yes, well I've got loads of that. Oh, 
plastic scratchy tools. And an art knife. I've got loads of these. Made of light metal. Uh, protection cap. Where's that right? There. With steep blades, double edge for perfect cutting of difficult artwork. For graphic arts, professional and hobby, particularly suited for precise cuttings on paper, cardboard, foil, linoleum, wallpaper and other similar items. Well, that's not inspiring me either. And these are the, this is the scratchy tool. Um... In an artful box we got it, well I didn't get it, um, it was, um, is it lino, where you've got to, you cut it, yeah, pattern out and use it as a stamp. But I already had this uh, cutting tool, so, and you only get how many blades in this, let's see, go out a bit. Yes, you only get these two, which with, with my um, line or tool, I got quite a lot of uh, blades or cutters, whatever you call them, scrapers. And it was only about four quid off eBay. Yeah, so uninspiring. What's this? Clear board, never heard of that before. Use with any media. Scratch in detail and texture, erase and rework easily. The ultimate multimedia panel. Hmm. Right. Oh, look at the art print. Oh, that's beautiful. Connor Studio. Connor Smith. <clears throat> 2021 and what do you do with that unless you use it as a template oh that's what this is for these sheets so I'll have to see how you use these read that book so you must get this design onto your paper and then you can can you transfer it onto here no, because it's too small. What about on that? No. And that's too small, so I don't know what that's for then. Right, let's look at the book. And this is the prompt starting from scratch. Well, I do that with everything. Right. Starting from scratch, this month we want to present you a new way of creating art. Normally we put our motives on paper, we add. This time we want to take the opposite way, remove, remove until the motif, motif emerges, unlike drawing or painting. Scratchboard is a two-dimensional subtractive art form. This opens up a, world, a whole world. This opens up a whole new range of design possibilities and puts our brains to the test. Have fun, happy scratching. Ugh. Totally disappointing. So let's see the prices, shall we? The clay board is six ninety nine euros. The scratch board is six forty nine euros. That seems a bit expensive. I mean, how many do you get in here? Is it just the one? Yes, you just get the one. Oh, I'm gonna pause you for a second so I can open it. Yes, you just get the one board. That seems really expensive. 6.49 just for this one board and as you can see 
Mine's already scratched, and it wasn't me with me trusty finger cutter because I went along the top. So, I assume you only get one. Yes. So you only get one of this as well. So, I mean, start from scratch. If I hash up this one, there's no going back because I've only got the one board. So I'll try it again on this, hash up that one. <sighs> right. Museum series clay board is made from our premium warp resistant eighth of an inch hard board that is sealed and protected with oh that's just boring unlimited techniques etch and erase and rework and add colour and scratching. I mean, how would you rework this? Look at that. It's like, there's a tiny scratch there. How would you get rid of that scratch? Oh, I don't know. Um, scratch board is easier to scratch into for clean, crisp details and lines. And unlike paper scratch boards, it will not rip, tear, bend or wrinkle. Hmm. Well, I think they should have supplied some paper scratch boards and then to do your like experimentation on the paper. And then when you felt confident, you could um, then you could go to these because it seems a waste. Just me messing around on that. Well, this isn't very well thought out. Because, I mean, especially like me, I haven't done it before. Right, scraper cutter tools and two scraper handles. Two sixty euros. And the stencil knife is four euros. Um... How do you say that? Like we'd say four pound. Well, it's similar, isn't it? Um, replacement creative cutter metal body. Well. It only comes to about 18 euros altogether and the box is like 25 pound plus two pound portion packaging. Oh, we did get the ink. Right, I'm forgetting about the ink. I can't see that being much either. Five euros for the ink, for that. Well, I know some inks can be pretty expensive, talons. But still, it's um, you don't get much for your book. Oh, and then we've got these sheets of tracing paper. Well, they're only 40, so like 40 pence. Oh. I mean, uh, this fella's artwork, he is absolutely beautiful. But, um,. I don't think I'll be able to create anything like that and just on the two boards you get. Uh, well, here's the tip. Mine will look nowhere near as good as that. It might be just like a, a matchstick man. Well, I will give it a whirl and I will show it in another video of what I've come up with. Um, that's all the techniques.
I know the, uh, I subscribe to, um, what is it, Muse, also known as Art, a smart art box or something like that, I can't remember. But uh, they had a, a scratching uh, kit and it looks so much better than this. But I wouldn't have liked to receive that either. See, I mean, it shows you the this elephant eye tutorial. They're doing it on one of those, and I forgot what you call those as well, well, where you can draw it on a screen. And then this is the print they've got from it. They broke it down, the design, like that tiger. Let's see. So they broke it down like that. So then I assume you have got to transfer that onto the board. Let's turn over. Yeah, see, you've got to... Um, there's the eye, and it says, I then print out this line. Oh, well. So, find out what that is. Blah, blah, blah. No. So... I then print out this line art to the size of the board I am using. Well, that is nowhere near the size. You can't transfer that onto there. I mean, look, you're chopping the ears off. So it's just not a... Uh, they haven't put this uh, box together very well. So he's putting the paper onto the transfer paper and then... It's on the board. I think you can just, well, I can just see that. I don't know if you can see. That's the lines. He's, so he's put that onto there, and then he does the scratching. Well, I think I would have been more inspired if that actually fit onto the board. But this rate, if I put that on, I'll be chopping its ears off, or its chin off. I might just do um, this bit here, its eyes. Yeah. Because it looked after if you just crop it here. Oh, God. So this is just a morning video. Elephant eye tutorial. I mean, that looks really good. And this is the bottle post gallery. Look, colour, that's what we needed in this box. I mean, look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. Would I be able to do something like that? Yeah, I think maybe if I sketch my own design out and something small like that and try and put it on here but as you all know if you watch my channel regular this is a safety concern for me because i am always chopping my fingers <sighs> yeah or maybe i could achieve something like this leaves something yeah Oh, what's this? Oh, that was the winner of the upgrade battle. Yes, that's very nice. Oh, shouldn't have looked at this. I like all this colour and all we've got is black and a scratchy white. Oh, look at these. Colour. These are amazing. Hint for the next box, be yourself. Well, I will be myself because it will, I won't be getting another box. And I can use something decent from Scrawler Box. Oh, oh, it's giving me a neck ache looking at that. Well, so I will show you what was in the box. Right, so that was 40 pence. 
got the stickers. That was five pounds. Just saying pounds, not with euro, but I don't know how to work that out. And there's the art print with that oversized design that you can put on your boards. There's the boards. There's the craft knife, magazine, and those scratchy tools. So I am totally unimpressed, if I haven't told you that already, and I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. Um, so did anybody else get this box? Were you satisfied with it? Do you think it's great value for money? Have you ever tried this out? Would you try it? <sighs> As I say, I will give it a whirl. Probably wait till after Inktober's over and done with. Uh, oh, I might, because I'm doing Scrollatober as well. So, with one of the prompts, I might use a, one of these. Yeah, give that a whirl. I mean, if it doesn't go to plan, at least I've tried. So, enough of me babbling. Uh, totally uninspired. I'm going to have to uh, do some watercolour now or something to bring me spirits back up a bit. Um, so, this is my last box. Yay! Scroller box is so much better. And I'm getting... Um, the Muse boxes, I mean, they're very good, but they're a bit pricey because the uh, postgen packaging and they're from America. Did I say this one's from Germany, but it is only £2 postgen packaging, so that's not bad, but £25 for the box. It is, in my opinion, not worth it at all. Right, enough of me babbling. You've probably gone to sleep now. So I will go now. Johnny signing out. See you, bye.